That's right. Apologies. It's a little bit busier here than usual in the White House press briefing room. We just had a relatively minor, apparently, security incident here at the White House. So a lot of activity around me here. But uh, ultimately, business does go on here. They held this event on 5G. The president announcing a big rollout of a new $20 billion investment fund in 5G. I had the opportunity to talk to the FCC chairman after that event here in the briefing room. And I asked him about the administration's efforts to pressure European allies to crack down on Huawei, the Chinese company, which the United United States side says uh, is a potential security threat to nations that use that Chinese equipment in their internet infrastructure. I asked him if he was frustrated about that, and here's what he said. We believe that the security and reliability of 5G networks is absolutely important, not just as a matter of national competitiveness, but also as a matter of national security. And I've been very encouraged in my conversations with some of our European allies all across the continent about the importance of security of 5G networks, the need to have a framework to understand the risk profile of certain equipment and services that will go into these 5G networks is something I think most of our allies recognize. And it's just a collaborative process of making sure that we have a framework that works for everybody. So Ajit Pai there saying he's not frustrated. This is a collaborative process, saying he's encouraged by some of the comments uh, from the allies. So as you heard from the president earlier today, the big announcement here is that $20 billion investment fund. But then also uh, the White House is taking steps to move alongside the FCC on this new spectrum auction. That's going to take place on December 10th. They're saying it's going to be the biggest spectrum auction of all time, all designed to push the growth of 5G and the U.S. economy uh, here domestically at the same time they're working with European allies about the deployment of 5G around the world, guys.